What is up guys, Mike H. Mamo here and welcome to my YouTube and Twitch channel. It's been a while. I wanted to stream yesterday but I forgot my phone upstairs and uh, my brother in law's sister. Uh, my brother in law's sister. My brother in law's children are currently sleeping here so I have to sleep on the couch. You know, that's why with my um but I rarely sleep on the couch. I can't get in sleep there. Um <laughs> I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos today, a lot of it actually. So the time has progressed tremendously fast without even realizing it. But I'm here to continue. Um, for about four hours, I will stream, give it or take, so people will wake up and then I can get my power nap once again, just like today. But if I do not continue, you know, there's no way I can actually manage to beat the game. So, hey. let's just continue. And, uh... Hey man, let's go. Okay, where? To the dense forest in the east. To the dense forest in the east. Then let's go. Follow me. Will do, man. Will do. Because I need it. Which my current goal four thousand five thousand enough at any rate. Well, I wanted to stream yesterday, you know, but I've got my phone upstairs and I can't check my chat without my phone, so that's why I decided yesterday to not and the stream. Beast. Um, war upon the land of and I also didn't do any of time stamping today, you know, because it's weekend. And it's gonna get even and, oh, once the children are awake, you know, and I take my power nap, I slip most of the time longer than I want to. Um, so, you know, I wake up late, but that's okay. Uh, it's not like I'm just waking up, no. I've been already been awake for like five, six hours, something like that. And before that, I went to bed around 1 p.m., something like that. Um, no, because of course I would try to just do as much as I possibly can, but the last couple of days I haven't done anything when it comes to the timestamps. Is he going to wait? Yes, he is. Let me roll a cigarette. But that is because it's a very tiring work and highlights is not going to go anywhere anyways. But it will catch up by the fact that, you know, normally on a daily basis people upload one single video, right, on YouTube. Sometimes I have days where I upload nothing, but on other days, you know, if I've been inactive for like three days on my YouTube or my Twitch, I'll make sure that the upcoming day, you know, the the day where I will start streaming and such, will have at least enough of three episodes I can upload those. You know, to YouTube or when I'm time stamping, and I've skipped for like let's say four days, then the first day when I will time stamp will make sure that these four days have been passed with four episodes. You know, even though I didn't do anything the last four days, but that means that in one day I will upload four videos. But that's okay, you know, I do whatever it takes to upload as much content as possible. To stream as much as I possibly can, but sometimes you also need a little bit of a break, you know, to regenerate as I would like to call it. Um, but, you know, as long as I do not forget to make the highlights out of my streams, everything is going to be okay. Um, I have to do about 67 of my Risen playthrough when it comes to timestamps. I currently did 33, I think. 33, something like that. Something in the 30, 32, 33. Have you thought about going into the woods? Um, I do think you 32. really want to do that? Yes. Let's go. Yes. All right, my friend. Then follow me. This is going to be gross. But 
Gothic 1 has about 50 episodes, 45 to about 50 episodes, something like that. And uh, Gothic 2, unknown currently because I'm still completing Gothic 2. Um, so about, I estimate about 80 to maybe even 100 episodes, something like that. After Gothic 2, I will Another not go to Gothic beasts. 3 yet, due to the fact that I will go to Risen 2. So I have time, you know, to work on the timestamps, and since, which I was not aware of, highlights will never be deleted, which is a good thing to know, especially when you're streaming on Twitch. Highlights, if you make highlights, they will never be up, uh, deleted, you know, whether you make a hundred highlights or a thousand. They will all be still on your Twitch channel, which is a bit weird, you know, but I'm not gonna judge. It will help me to, you know, do as much as efficiently as possible. If I knew that beforehand, I wouldn't have started Gothic 1 nor Gothic 2, due to the fact, you know, I could have better completed Risen, um, <coughs> Risen 2, Risen 3. So after Gothic 2, after I beat it Gothic 2, I would go to Risen 2. Well, keep working on the timestamps on my Risen 1 playthrough, of my Gothic 1 playthrough, of my Gothic 2 playthrough, and eventually Risen 2. Um, I'm gonna do them in the order that I stream them. So, um, let's say, you know, Risen 1 timestamps has been 100% completed for my YouTube channel, you know. And I'm starting to play Risen 2. I'm not instantly gonna work on the Risen 2. Um, even though I would love to. But that would mean that my Risen will have priority over the other streams. Which is not the case. Um, I will make sure that if I first play Risen 1, that game will first be 100% timestamped. My second game was Gothic 1. That will be the second game which I will 100% accurately timestamp. Risen 3 will come after that. Or Gothic 2 will come after Gothic 1. And then Risen 2 after Gothic 2. And Risen 3 after Risen 2. And then Gothic 3 after Risen 3. You know, so that I keep switching between the games. But highlight them for my YouTube channel in the long run. I, well, I would keep doing as much as I possibly can, but sometimes, you know, you need a little small break. Nothing to be Sometimes a man needs that, you know, and I took it. Quite a bit, actually. But, all in all, you know, it, it will make it easier for me, and yes, you know, quality expose quantity. But in order to make a YouTube channel rolling from the start, you have to make sure that you've got enough content available on your channel to make it rolling. The more content you have, the more diversity of games you have, the higher your chance you get views. And, you know, I'm not a man that is very good at making intros, outros, and whatnot, you know. Um, and it costs me too much time to try to make a good one instead of uploading it for, you know, instead of putting it to gaming. So I will not have any intro, I will not have any outro, at least not for the time being, until I am big and I can hire people to make them for me. And once that has happened, you know, I will make sure there will be a highlight, an outro and an intro, or an intro and outro for, for Risen, for Gothic, for Skyrim, doesn't matter which games already on that moment are on my YouTube channel. Those already eventually also will have, Hurry up. you know, I don't want to stay the highlights, the intro to. and the outro, as well as completed playthroughs with 100% accurate timestamps, because that is what I'm all about. You know, um, doing a let's play is not that unique. You know, if you're doing a let's play, it's not really that unique, especially not with the Risen or the Gothic games. Beside the fact that I'm speaking in English, not German, not Russian, you know, that's the only uniqueness about it at the moment. But the other uniqueness is that my timestamps and my descriptions of my videos are never 
hundred percent the same. Never, you know. Some have long descriptions, other have shorter descriptions, and that's the beauty of it, you know. Try to be unique as possible as you possibly can, you know, whether it is with an intro or whether it is with an outro, it doesn't really matter that much. I want to, I don't think it's very smart to do it. I'm gonna lure these walks to Laris. He will kick the mass for me. Come here, you filthy beast. My body is actually pretty much damaged. So much for you, filthy beast. I didn't expect that damage from my bow, especially not against the walks. But I do need to have the area clear so that I can go towards the circle, the circle of the sun. For Dragomir's crossbow, which is another quest. Good man. Alright, so let's activate this stone circle for the final fragment so I can go to Jokanar. Already got the one at Onar's farm. I think I already have the one at Lord Hagen. No, I don't have the one with Lord Hagen. That's not smart. Oh well. I'll use the teleporter stones to get back to Arbor Town. To Arbor Town 2, the city of Corinus. Talk with Lord Hagen, the commander of the Paladins, and get the final one. I thought I already had it, but apparently not. I'm not here in particular for the plants, I'm here for the final switch. There it is. <laughs> So this one has been cleared. What is up, by the way, viewers? Welcome, mates. Welcome. There. You should be able to do the rest by yourself. I'm headed back. Yeah, you do that, Norris. Oh, let's explore a tiny cave up here. Do I have more rad fat? I think I do. Which I need, yeah, I got it. To open a winch. Now, you know, after Gothic 2, I could go to Gothic 3, but that would still mean that my Gothic 2 has been putting on hold. And I can't let that happen, you know, because that is one of the games that I didn't have to redo. Um, so after Gothic 2 in particular, I would go to Risen 2. After I beat it Risen 2, I would go to Risen 3. And once I beat it Risen 3, I've completed the Risen series in its general. I can start slowly uploading those to YouTube. And once everything is uploaded to YouTube, I can say, you know, if you want a hardcore run, you have to make sure that all three parts has been unlocked. If you want a second or a third run, you have to ask and apply for it uh, on my YouTube channel. So in the meanwhile, I can do different games, you know, like um, Ocean Horn, which is one of the games that I will play, um, which is like a Zelda-like game, very fun to play. Relatively easy to get that one beaten, but it's still a fun game nevertheless, you know. Um, I will also play a bit of Need for Speed if I have those on Steam, I currently don't have them. Or well, maybe in the future I will, you know. I'm not quite sure if I can re-get my Origin account since it's been coupled to my uh, old YouTube account slash old email address, you know, which I can currently can't get access to anymore um 
so I do have a couple of new speeds on that and Battlefield um, but you know those were all games that I got for free on Origin I didn't pay a thing for Origin but I will play as many games as I possibly can you know and the sooner I get big the faster I can upgrade my PC and go to the high-end games you know get more views because in the end, you know, I'm not gonna lie, in the end, of course, I'm doing it for the money, you know, of course. It's all about money, but I'm not doing it because I want the money, I'm doing it because I need the money. I need to be able to feed myself, I need to be able to clothe myself and pay my bills. Um, but that also means that the faster I get big, the faster I can help the gaming community, no, 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 I'm not gonna do Minecraft, man. First of all, you know, I would have to purchase Minecraft for about 20 euros. Not worth it, in my opinion. And I'm not really a huge fan of Minecraft, you know. Um, it's not my kind of game. And it, even if I would play it, I would not enjoy playing it. Um, so I first do the games, you know, which I will enjoy to play. Um, most, mostly you know, single player games like uh, Gothic, Risen, Skyrim where's the other one? There was a weekend one Skyrim, Oblivion, GTA's, Prince of Persia's, Need for Speeds, Call of Duty's single player campaign, you know and Spec Ops, not Zombies or something like that because that's ongoing um, but Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe in the future, but I doubt it, especially with Minecraft, you know, I doubt it. Same with World of Warcraft, I doubt it. I will never play those kind of games because, you know, they're not my, really my cup of tea. I prefer, you know, a game with a beginning and an ending so I can upload it to YouTube, go to the next game. Because my personal dream at the moment, my personal achievement that I want to achieve is to beat 300 games 300 different games 100% so in Skyrim sample there are 10 vanilla races to beat the game 100% I need to be beating all the 10 of vanilla races from the beginning to the end and there will be 11th run for the hardcore challenge run, which will be impossible. You're lagging. You're lagging or my stream is lagging? If my stream is lagging, I'll feed a pool, let me know. You know. But I knew you were kidding. You know, you, you said it a couple of times before with all the Minecraft. But, you know, maybe my viewers on YouTube might eventually you know say play some minecraft i love minecraft play some minecraft and i'm like nah better let better let them know in advance you know that it's not my kind of game um but like i said you know maybe in the future sure but for the time being you know i have to make as much possible content as possible and i would love to play nintendo games you know to add to my gaming collection to my YouTube collection but the problem is with you with you know Nintendo and YouTube they will not allow you to make money out of their in-game contents while legally if you purchase the game you already have the in-game copyright and you are allowed to use it by any means necessary you know but still Nintendo does not allow people to make money off that gaming content. I'm not quite sure why not. Because I see it, you know, as free advertisement. But it will not stop me from playing Nintendo games at all. You know, I might not be able to get money out of it. But it will get views to my channel. And it will be games towards my... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see lags in on my phone, but.
but if other streams are working fine and mine is lagging, then that's a bit, a bit weird, you know. But yeah, stupid Twitch. Rage mode. You know, but I will still play Nintendo games. I will still play PlayStation games eventually. But for that, I need a capture card. For that, I need to have a 3DS with a capture card. For that, I would have, you know, need of the Nintendo Switch um, with a capture card in my PC. Um, but eventually, I will play them. You know, there are so many Nintendo games I would love to play. Zelda Ocarina of Time is one of them. Majora's Mask is another. Um, Wind Waker, you know, is another one. The newest Zelda upcoming is another one. Elix is another one. Uh, upcoming GTAs are another one. You know, Prince of Persia, Grand Theft Auto, Age of Empires, Fears, Call of Duties. The more games that I can complete, the better it is for my YouTube channel. The better it is for my personal content, and the better it is sadly but true to get more money you know because I'm not doing it you know I, I'm not liking it you know the fact that I have to make money out of this um, through YouTube or through Twitch but I need a job I need to have a stable income and I can find a regular job you know but what's the point in doing a regular job if you can do the, the one work that you want to do where you can put, put them into a lot more hours than a regular job. Earn less, but still, you know, in the long run, it is more. And I'm also doing this due to the fact that I want to help others to do the same. Because I want to prove the government one thing. That it is not just for a few people. That it is actually for everybody, provided they get the opportunity to do it. Because that is the thing that humanity needs, the opportunity to do it, you know. Um, and, and, you know, I might not be able to make it, who knows, you know. Or I might be able to come become big, but someone else ain't becoming big. You know, that's a possibility. Always keep that in, in your head, in the background of your head, but at least try. For me, it's everything or nothing said that multiple times you know and yeah, I love playing games I've been raised with playing games and that's something that will never get out of me you know I'm a gamer you know I learned so much from playing games you know my English came from playing games as well as chatting with people all over the globe as well as with you know watching movies and whatnot but in the end, you know, gaming did a lot of good things for me, you know, um, and, and that's what I strive for, you know, I love to play games, so I'm gonna make it happen. However, I can say I will make it happen, but if the community will not like me, then I will not be able to make it happen, you know, but even if I get a thousand subscribers, on my YouTube channel, or even 10, you know, it doesn't really matter to me, because I prefer to have people that do like my content, and, you know, enjoy watching Nothing the content, fun. than having millions and millions of viewers. Did I ever played Madden 2? I don't think I did. Oh. But. Uh. Sorry about that noise. Well, I, I don't, the name doesn't ring a bell. So I, I don't think that I've played that game before, Matin 2. Doesn't ring a fucking bell. So I, I should say probably not. It's possible since I've played so many games throughout my lifetime. But, you know, 9 out of 10 games that I've played will are printed in my brain basically you know I can't name them all right now because that's too many I've beat it over a thousand games throughout my you know 21 years of gaming experience if not more games you know but on the long run you know it's possible it is possible that I 
beat it the game before or I played the game before but as far as I'm currently concerning and thinking about it I don't think so um, but you know games that I never have played before eventually will be played eventually I will go to games that I don't know yet blind playthroughs you know eventually I will go to games that I might not like that much to stream due to the fact as long as the gaming have a beginning and an ending it is a good sample thing for my YouTube channel you know um, the only thing basically which makes me unique or unique on YouTube it's not only doing the games 100 100% you know all pass or achievements if they have achievements um, different kind of building sets along with the play styles um, but also the fact of the timestamps and I think that will be the thing that will get me to the big side you know eventually in the long run and then I'm talking about two to five years give it or take hey let me pickpocket this guy. Are you waiting for someone? You not anymore. You're here now, aren't you? Well, what are you up to? I want to hunt the snappers up there. But how have you been doing, by the way, from the boat? Too many for me alone. Okay, okay, but why me, mate? You look strong. I could use a fella like you. Okay. I'll help you, you go first. Okay. <laughs> sure thing. But don't get too close to the black trowel back there. He'll rip you to pieces otherwise. Got it? And we'll betide you if you chicken out. I'm not a chicken. Another one of those things. So no need to worry, Mish. I'm not a chicken. So much for you, filthy beast. Can you change me out to a hunt? Mm. All right. You haven't been much help to me so far, but... Have I, will I harsh. play Goat Simulator? Um, well, Goat Simulator is a rather short game. It is a funny game. Um, but I currently don't have it on Steam. The last time when I played it was through a mate of mine called London the Link on YouTube and Twitch. He's not active that much anymore due to the fact he has other things to do. But I played through his uh, family share. Um, but I did play Goat Simulator. But eventually I might be able to play it, you know. But first, the priority of where my money goes into are two, two things here and there a couple of euros into steam for winter sale summer sale to get cards and second and the most important one instead of buying games um, is going to upgrade my PC because I still have AAA games which I can stream and people will enjoy watching especially now and in days you know like The Witcher 3 uh, Skyrim, um, what are the other, GTA 5, I don't have GTA 5 yet, but eventually I will have, but the high end games, you know, I have to get my PC to equitable as possible for the high end games that will give you more views, and it sounds suckish, and it really is, but that has a priority because like said you know if I can trade play triple A games like The Witcher 3 the newest hitman or you know GTA 6 in the future it will come eventually you know um, it will get my YouTube channel to more views rather rapidly due to the fact that decent known games they are well known games, especially you know when you talk about Grand Theft Auto, especially when you talk about The Witcher 3, those games are well known. And I love those games myself as well. You know, so eventually I will need a PC to 
play those games because I don't only want to play old games like Gothic, Risen, you know, I want to get as fast as possible to a good enough of a PC so that my potential is bigger, so I can do a bit more differences of gaming, so, you know, like The Witcher 3, GTA 5, Need for Speeds, but eventually, you know, eventually I might might able to play Goat Simulator because it is a funny game. Well, that's about the only simulator game I would play for the fun of it. You know, no rock simulator, no surgeon simulator, no bus driver simulator. Fuck that shit. Goat Simulator, the only reason why I want to play it is because I had, you know, I laughed my ass off back then. Um, I didn't play it that much myself. You know, only like I don't know two, three hours at max. You know, but I saw it all quite a bit at uh, a friend of mine, and it was funny as fuck. You know, I laughed my ass off with that game, but it still is a relatively small game, and that makes it easier to get to the 300. You know, games completed achievement, but um, I want to have. 300 different games which are huge. Skyrim is going to take immense amount of time to beat all 10 vanilla races. The Witcher is going to take a lot of time to complete all the quests, especially the way I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, playing, beating all the quests as possible and get to, you know, to the eventual. But if I will start Witcher 3, I will have to make sure that Witcher 1 and 2 are completed. I have the entire bundle on Steam. Um, so eventually I will start playing Witcher 1, Witcher 2, I never played Witcher 1 before, at least I can't recall that I did never played Witcher 2 before, at least as far as I can't recall, but in the end, the more games I can play, the better for my channel. So uh, can you teach Two me now? Exactly do you want to know? Whatever you can learn me man, teach me how to remove crawler plates. Mine. Oops, sorry. You already know everything I could teach you. I accidentally skipped the uh, old Minecrawler plate removal 